Hello boys and girls, welcome back. So I unboxed this one the other day and lots of people have been interested in it. It's had loads and loads of views, so I thought, well, I need something fairly quick to build because I've got something coming in about a week or so, which I'm quite looking forward to. So I just want one to tide me over. So I thought, why not build this little beauty? Um, I was well impressed with the kit itself, so I thought, well, if people were kind of interested in it, let's do this one. So, really old school. Um, yeah, the old fashioned instructions with lots of writing rather than much in the way of pictures. Um, this isn't as bad as the early ones, which was just one picture and loads of writing, so fairly followable, hopefully. Um, what I've done is I've ordered a set of decals, which is similar as T3 and then some other letters. Um, and it's got the same sort of squadron markings. Uh, so they'll be here in a couple of days. And I didn't have the, the right paints for it because I did my usual thing of jotting down what the paints are supposed to be so I can keep an eye on what's what rather than get the reference books out. Uh, so I've ordered the paints as well. So I'm just going to see if there's anything I can do. So I'll get rid of those. <sighs> Lovely old complaint slip. Um, see if there's anything that I do while I'm waiting for the paints to get here. Um... I suppose I could do a few bits of assembly, can't I? Like put the wings and the tail together. Uh, I could probably paint the inside of the cockpit and the figures, because I could do that in just a dark green. Uh, but first job, wash everything. Which I just do on everything now. So I shall go and do that. So that's all the bits washed back in the box. Next job is to prime them all. And as most of the bits are already off the frame, uh, I've just did a whole lot in one go, I think. Right, well, that's all the bits primed. Yes, yeah, so I've given it a, a gray primer in there. So I'll get some green in it, which I think is right. I think there was green inside. Hope so. Uh, maybe start putting the the inside of that in. Uh, just do what I can until the paint arrives, really. Okay, so fairly productive evening. So I've done the inside of the fuselage green. Uh, glued the wings together. Fit was really good. Just needed a little sand down around the edges just to finish it. Uh, Got to do the same with the tail yet. Just did a bit with the instrument panel. Dabbed a little bit of flow improver into the little holes and then put a little dab of uh, silver in. That looks okay, not brilliant. And just picked out a little bit, some radio or something. Um, the best bit though, for a 1960s kit, the figures I think are really good. Um, plenty of detail on them. All I do is do the usual scrape the um, scrape around the edges where the where they're moulded. But they turned out all right. Shame you haven't seen much of them. Anyway, um, that's going to do for tonight. So come to a slight yeah already. So, control column onto locate hole in front of control panel. So, ugh, getting closer. So, that into there, easy enough. There's a little hole in that, that goes in that. Then, uh, locate and cement control panel against rib in starboard fuselage half. Okay, so zooming in there, can't quite see it. But, as usual, you've got ribs like this. And there's one 
just in there, you can just see it again. Just the control panel. And normally, things would go up against it. So you wouldn't see that. That would be visible. So I did that, first of all, so in the normal manner. So resting that against the back of that rib. I hope that makes sense. Then I just closed the body up to have a look and it was too far to the right. So it actually means, I think, put the control panel up in line with the rib. So the two are touching like that instead of like that. And then it goes central. But that's going to be a bit on the flimsy side. So what I'm going to do is just get a scrap of plastic and glue it to the fuselage and the back of that just to give it a bit of bracing uh, before I carry on. But, you know, it does say against it, uh, against rib. It doesn't say in front, behind. So I'm taking it to mean in line with. Doesn't look right like that, but yeah, I'll show. Let me close up the, the body and look down there. Focus. Trust me, that, that's that's pretty much central now. Um, and there's no rib on that. Oh, yes, there is. There's a rib there. I was looking down there. So it should go up against that. It's in front of it. Weird. But yeah, I'll, I'll brace it with something anyway. So the next part is to fit the pilot to his seat and the seat on the two pins inside. Uh, just one thing to watch where you think he's going to sit. So if you look at those pins, there's a, there's a ridge. You think the seat's going to go up against that. But if you put it there, he's sitting too far to the right. So you just need to bring the seat and the pilot over a bit. So he's in line. So there's this sort of bulkhead bit here, which is like a kind of backrest thing. Put that in, left it, and it's gone slightly wonky. But I don't think it matters. The, the gunner, I found the easiest thing to do, was glue the seat into the little grooves that it goes in as far back as it will go and then put the gunner on it and line him up with the machine gun because if you sort of put that in roughly in the middle he falls off the seat um, but yeah not, not a biggie but then you've got to try and close up the two halves now and get all these bits lined up so hopefully, thank you, Jacko. <laughs> so now I've got to try and join the two halves up and hopefully all the bits will line up inside it. Uh, it says don't cement the, the gun, but realistically, I'm not going to be able to move it anywhere anyway. Okay, uh, so it's all together. Just need a bit of tape around it. I haven't glued it yet. So trying to get the machine gun bit. So this bit here, just need to sort of get some tweezers in just to line it up. And the seat base needs to click into the two bars on the other side. But easy enough. Um, just a little bit degree papery. Okay, I'll get that glued up now. Okay, so it's all gluing together now. The fit's really nice. Um, it's just going to need a very little bit sanding off once it's done. Uh, the rest of part one, putting the wings together. Oh, but it looks like I should have put the angle ones in. Oops. Oh uh, yeah, that's typical me. Don't read the instructions first. Uh, and the tail. Done the same thing with that. Oops. Right, I should go and fix that.
So, resolved the issue. What it did was the little sticky up tabs on there, which make the hinges so you can move them up and down. Just chopped them off and then glued them in. Um, because you know, I don't need them to move. Uh, so that's the wings and the tail bits ready to go in the fuselage. All that's in. Canopy, I'll do my usual and leave that till last. Once it's all painted. Uh, yeah, might as well get the wings on. So that's the wings and the tail on. All fitted absolutely brilliantly. No problems at all. Uh, that's the blob of filler to cover up the hole for the stand. Because I won't be using that. Um, so I'm just leaving that to dry. I got the decals through yesterday. I'm just keeping my thumb over that because it's swastikas and I know they are banned in a lot of places, so I won't show them. Um, it's from Cora Decals, not a company I've used before, but I got these from Hannant's and they're pretty similar to those. Got the same sort of squadron marking thing on there. Similar numbers and stuff. Slightly bigger, but hopefully that won't matter. Um, and let's give it a home. Don't want to upset anyone. Um, and these are the three paints. I've got Hannon's name on them. Uh, I would have got my normal Vallejo ones, but I couldn't find any that could do delivery quick enough at the moment. So I got these from Hannon's. Um, what I didn't realise before, until I'm doing this, because it's been a long time and things have changed. With the German ones, you have this RLM number. So, which was the the German official sort of colour scheme thing. So, companies are doing paints in those numbers rather than translating them. So 65, which is the sky blue underneath. 72 and 73, which are the two darker colours for the upper surfaces. Um, so extra acrylics, not used them before. So be interesting to see how they work. They're, you know, they're acrylics, obviously. Uh, shake and stir well, dilute 10 to 15% with water if required. Brush or airbrush, blah, 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 blah. So it looks like this is Hannah's own, own brand, isn't it? Made in England, was it? Made in EU. But it's got Hannan's address on there. So, be interesting to see. Let's have a look. Are they a dropper bottle or? No, just pour out by the look of it. Hmm. I've got some little pipette things, so I'll use them. But, uh, yeah. So, that's what I've got to paint it with. Uh, so they can go in a drawer somewhere to be forgotten. Let's move the decals out of the way for now. So I will be using the swastika because obviously that would have been accurate. But I'll cover it up whenever I show it. Because, you know, we're not allowed to do that sort of thing anymore. And I'm not getting into the politics of that. Rights and wrongs of it. It's none of my none of my business to try and influence anyone else, so I won't. I'll just make have a bit of a tidy up. So ready for the next bit. So that's all that bit done. Da -da -da. Nose assembly. So that looks simple enough to do. Um, I'll dry fit it and take it all apart and paint it separately. So I'll do what I did before on the swordfish, because that's a similar layout, and put that onto the fuselage, just dry, paint it, then take it off, assemble it, and then glue it on so that any lines match up. Uh, also, all the float assembly, that looks pretty straightforward. I'll try and remember to fit those in the right at the right time. Uh, again, 
may be easier to spray the underside and then fit all this malarkey. Yeah, it's probably going to be easier, isn't it? Yeah, because the floats have got the camouflage on the top and then the sky underneath. So it's going to be just fiddly doing that when it's assembled. So I'll do that off. Okay, onwards. Okay, so wings and tail and everything are on. No problems other than of my own making. Uh, and I put the these things on for the floats and they all, everything lines up perfectly. Very nice. No problems at all. Uh, so I've just stuffed a bit of foam in there. I'm going to have a stab at doing a bit of chipping, which I haven't done before. So I'm going to spray it um, aluminium pretty much all over, I should think. Because the front half of the fuselage and the wings, I believe, were metal and the back end is fabric. So I'm going to do that. And once that's dry, I'm going to try a little bit of that. Tiny little dabs of that along the leading edges and round some hatches and stuff. Then spray it and then try and pull it all off and reveal the chips and things. That's the plan anyway. I've never done it, so hopefully that'll work all right. Um, done the engine. So that was just black with little bits of uh, gun metal. Done it both sides. Uh, right, to spray silver. Oh, and I'm going to do the same with the floats as well, because I kind of figured out they they probably have a bit of chipping and wear and stuff. I suppose mainly along the front water and stuff floating in the water would have bashed it. So, right, here goes. Well, I've tried to be fairly subtle with it. So what I did was put a little bit of the masking stuff uh, in the palette <clears throat> and just dabbed it on a few places here and there, sort of around the foot holes along the leading edge. Just a few little dots here and there, not too much. Um, and the same on the front of the floats. So now I'm going to spray it. Uh, oh, I've done a bit on the the engine cowling as well. Coming up, little, just little dabs around it. We'll see. We'll see if it works. So I'm going to spray it. Um, I'll do the underside first. I reckon it's probably going to be better on it. Do the lighter ones first. That tends to work better. Okie dokie, I shall spray that blue. Okie dokie, so that's the, the blue done. Let's add two coats of this stuff. Um, goes on all right, no problems. Just looking at it, I should have filled that or rubbed it down a bit better, but it's not too awful. But yeah, uh, so the silver's on there with dabs of the masking stuff. So now what I'm going to do is the camouflage. What I tend to do is do it all over in the lighter one, uh, which looks like that one probably. Do it all over in that, then mask it and put that on top, rather than sort of try and get two paints to mesh, to, you know, line up perfectly. Uh, same on the floats. Uh, got a bit of a run on that one, but I don't think that really shows. Uh, oops. Okay, uh, and there's just like the bombs, aerial with bits and pieces to go on at the end. And then I'll just, because they're so tiny, I'll just touch them in after. But if I put them on now, I'll probably knock them off. Okay, so I'll get it masked up and start spraying. So that's the bulk of the painting done. Um, what I did, I made a little mistake. Um, because the two shades of green are quite, quite similar. I picked up the darker one first. So I should have sprayed the lighter one and then the darker on the top, but I did it the other way around. But I don't think it matters, I think it's all right. 
Um, the chipping effect, really pleased with that. Um, so just a little bit of white tack, just take off the masking fluid and it's left a quite a nice little effect. So I'm quite happy with my first attempt. Uh, so now I'm just gonna fit the floats. Actually, I'll probably put the decals on underneath first. I was gonna give it a gloss coat first, but this paint is sort of satiny. So I think it'd be all right to just go straight on there. I don't think I'll have any problems. Uh, yeah, so decals, floats, and then once it's all dry, a coat of matte varnish, and then I'll put the canopy on last. Cool, right, I'm just gonna throw it all together now and go ta-da at the end. Right, well, that's this one done. Uh, yeah, for such an old kit, really went together brilliantly. No issues at all. Um, the canopy's a bit on the thick side, but it it went on perfectly. Um, yeah, really pleasant little kit. Uh, it, the paint's a little bit darker than it should have been because I did the light over the dark instead of the dark over the light. So it would have been a fraction lighter, but not a lot. The tin foil's there to cover up the swastika because YouTube. Um, experimenting with that chipping thing, really like the look of that, especially on the front of the floats there. It's come out really nice. So that's a little thing I'll be using in the, in the future. Uh, yeah, really like it. So I've got one day to wait because tomorrow the new trumpeter Fairy Fulmar arrives, the brand new one. So I'm really looking forward to that. So the bench is going to stay empty for a day. Uh, so I shall clean my airbrush thoroughly and put a new blade in my knife and twiddle my thumbs for a bit. Right, see you at the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.